Alrighty, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. We have another, I suppose this is part two of the Blackpool Hall. Blackpool Hall. That kind of rhymes. Uh, I've split this up just to make it easier on my voice because I'm telling you my voice is having a rough few days. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I've split this up to make, I'm trying to make this relatively condensed. But I find that there's less here so I talk more. And that's not a bad thing. It's actually better than how I think I'm doing it before. So... There's no organisation to this. There's no planning or scripting on none of that stuff. I don't do that because it never works. But yeah, this is part two. Part three will be uh, after this. Um, and yeah, so let's crack on with this. We've got a bit of everything here, as you can see by the cases. So I'll talk about... Um, I'll talk about this first. The Walking Dead. I cannot tell you in words just how much I loved The Walking Dead. Seasons 1 to 4. And yeah, this cost me £8, by the way. It's a good thing about CEX. I didn't mention the prices in the other video. But The Walking Dead was so good. Up until, I'd say season 4 was probably... a Out of 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 was the worst. I think when the prison goes to shit... And they're all split up and running away. Season 4 just seems to kind of drag on a bit. But I haven't watched anything after season 6, I believe. Um, just because I got bored. You know, it's The Walking Dead. It should be about zombies. And The Walking Dead just became about, you know, they had the governor who showed up with guys and started shooting people. And then you had... The cannibal guys in that big like warehouse place. Oh no, they weren't cannibals. Were they cannibals? I can't remember now. But then you had a whole different group of cannibals that were eating people's hands. And then Negan showed up and then they were killing saviours. And it was just like... Phew. I'm watching The Walking Dead. It should be about zombies. And it's about people shooting other people. And it got very boring. But I watched this a lot when we were kids. We would wait... Um, We would wait for these to come out and watch them completely. And I think Rick Grimes as a character is probably one of my favourite TV guys on the planet. So I love him. Andrew Lincoln as a playing him in that is just absolutely phenomenal. He does such a good job. How many discs there are? Jesus. And yeah, I think all props, all um, that one has five. What the fuck? But yeah, he, he, he does such a good job at portraying him. And I don't think I'd ever get sick of watching them. I love The Walking Dead a lot. So, on to the games. I'm not going to spend tons of time. I, I, yeah, you know, I like, I like stuff like that. Um, I'm very picky when it comes to films because 99% of the films that come out nowadays are shit. But that was a TV series, and that was really good. So we've got one Xbox game, we've got three PS3 games, we've got five PS4s, and two PS5s. So, the Xbox One game is the Handsome Collection for Borderlands on the Xbox. I'll be honest, now I'm looking at it here, I don't know why I bought it. Why did I buy this? Well, I don't need it on the Xbox. I have it on the PlayStation, and I wouldn't play it on the Xbox, so... Unless I was thinking, get it for the achievements, get it for the G, the gamer score. I don't really know what my uh, what my thought process was here. Unless there is something I was doing at the time that just, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But you know, I love Borderlands. With a, you know, it's one of my favourite franchises of all time. Uh, apart from Wonderlands, that game can you know, if that game vanished tomorrow, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it because that game's tragic. But yeah, Borderlands 1, a lot of my childhood was spent there. Borderlands 2 is like one of my top three most played games of all time. Borderlands 3 was amazing. Um, I, in fact, I still think I would go back and play Borderlands 3 again. I loved Borderlands a lot. Ha not Handsome Collection. The pre-sequel was good, it was underrated, but the end game was pretty bad. 
And Tales of the Borderlands was okay, but it wasn't anything special. But yeah, I have it on Xbox now, so I don't know. Maybe I can stream it when I get my own house or something like that. We'll see. So, we have here... PS3 game, we have Dead to Rights. Now, the case is absolutely destroyed. Well, not the case, the cover. I don't know how this is... I don't know how this kind of stuff happens. Put it on a shelf. Put it out of the way. How does stuff like this happen? That case is... That cover is ruined. That has ruined my cover. But anyways, I bought this because of the game. So, I, I remember playing a game called Dead to Rights. I don't know which one it was. And it was on the original Xbox, I believe. And the disc was scratched. And whenever you got to a certain point in the game, it would just crash. I believe you were in a shower. I don't know if you were in a prison and you were in some kind of shower scene. And the game would just... It would just it just wasn't having it. And it, I'm sure it was a shower. But I can't remember what the game was. But I always remember the husky. There's a husky in it. And the husky's really cool. But yeah, I could only ever end up playing like the first few scenes. But... Shoot for justice and unleash your killer instinct. Play as Jack Slate and his ferocious canine sidekick Shadow. So I know nothing about like the actual franchise or anything. I can't remember for the life of me what the game was like. So I figured I'd give it a go. It's only £4. And I want to crack open. I want to dust off the PS3. I need to do it. Because there's so many cool PS3 games. I think... To be honest with you, PS3 is probably one of the best systems you can get. Let's be honest. You get trophies. You get so many cool games. It's just so cool. I wish the PlayStation would do backwards compatibility and let me play these. Come on, PlayStation. Come on, Sony. Pull your fingers out. Let me play some PS3 games on the PS5. I will buy a new PS5 with a separate disc tray. Just a thought. Next, we have 007 Quantum of Solace. So, I've said in the previous unboxing when it came to James Bond games, I know nothing about the series, really. I don't watch it. I don't know much about it. But it was a pound fifty, so that probably means it's going to be meh. But there was another one for the Xbox. Or it might have been for the PS3 as well that a lot of people raved on about. But yeah, I don't think about this, so pound fifty, I will give it a go. And finally, a game that I do remember. <laughs> fifty cent blood on the sand. So turns out he's actually had he has two games, I think. For these consoles. I need to clean the case. This one still goes for that because it's it's actually a pretty good game, all things like all jokes aside. It's not a terrible game. Which is quite you know, I wouldn't say ironic, ironic's not the word, but it's quite funny how a 50 cent game is a pretty decent shooter, you wouldn't expect it, but yeah, it's pretty good, I don't remember much about the actual game play, I can't remember much that far back, but I played this on the 360, so I might play through this on the second channel, like I said, in a few years time, we will see, but I can't. I can't promise anything because obviously 50 cents music is copyrighted. Too high, fuck. So, <laughs> that probably isn't going to happen, let's be honest. But I can get it for the trophies. So, we have here, like I said, the, the five, five PS4 games. So, the first one is a one called Kingdoms of Amala Re Reckoning. Six pounds. When you read the back, it says, from the best-selling author, Salvatore Spawned, Salvatore Spawned creator, Todd McFarlane, and Elder Scrolls Oblivion lead designer. That's a pretty good lineup. I don't know the other two, but I'm hoping it's pretty decent. But I know nothing about it. I have no clue. So if you, have, if you know anything about it, let me know, because I, I don't. And... Because I don't know anything about it, I can't talk about it. Next up, we have Watch Dogs 2, the gold edition. I don't know what the gold edition includes, but this is actually, I'm pretty sure it's in Spanish. 
What language is that? Somebody let me know. Pack the tragedy. I don't know. But yeah, Watch Dogs 2. I, I hope that this is not a regional game because it doesn't say anything on here about it being in Spanish. And that's kind of a problem. I don't think it's region locked. I think we'll be alright. But yeah, I owned Watch Dogs on the Xbox. Uh, Watch Dogs 2 I've never played. Um, Watch Dogs Legion I played and I thought that game was pretty bad. So, um, kind of a bit on that one. Doom Eternal. And this time, it's got the right disc in it. Thank God. Good job, CEX. Give me the wrong game. So, uh, I think I've already spoken about Doom Eternal a, a bit. But we've actually played through the original Doom. Um, I've beat the original Doom. I thought it was really cool. There were some enemies in that game that really pissed me off. But all in all, that was a really good game. And I'm definitely excited to play that. There is DLC as well, but I don't know if that's actual levels or if that's like multiplayer stuff because I'm not doing the multiplayer. But yeah, that is definitely getting a playthrough. Because like I said, Doom, the first one, was great. That was really good. So, um, yeah, you know, monsters, shotguns, gauss cannons. It was just a really cool game. So, now we have Eternal. Next up, Escapist 2. The... The Escapist 2. Right. So yeah. The prison Sandbox. Is what it says there. The Ultimate Prison Sandbox. So. I've, I think I watched a game. I think it was Prison Architect or something like that. But maybe that was Escapist. Bust out. Assemble with Jump Online. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe that's a completely different game. But Escapist. I know nothing about it. It was cheap. It's another PS4 game for the shelf. Yeah, that is that. And finally, Resident Evil 3. Um, I've never played a Resident Evil game. We've said this before on the channel. I never played the originals back on the PS3. Uh, I never played the old originals back on the PS1. Uh, the only one I have played is Raccoon City. So. And I'm pretty sure all the counts that's a bad game. I thought it was a pretty decent game, but I think the reviews say otherwise. But I've seen videos on this, um, mainly because I wanted to look at the gameplay. The gameplay doesn't look the best, but the graphics look amazing. I'd love to see what like a super next-gen version of these kind of games look like, because Resident Evil 2 looked great as well. So, we'll see. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. If it's you know, let me know down below because I don't watch reviews on games unless I really know I'm not going to play them or I don't know enough about them to say. Oh, well, you know, it's fine going and paying a pound fifty for a game because if you don't like it, you've only paid a pound. If you're paying nearly twenty pound, you kind of want to, you know, twenty pound is. Like 15 McDonald's McFlurries. And I would rather have McFlurries than a bad game. So yeah. That's that. Right. And finally we have two PS5 games. So the first one is one called The Pathless. I'll be honest. I said it in the previous video. I'm just buying PS5 games now to fill the shelf up. This game does not look impressive. But I might be mistaken. You know. It's, it's a very boring back. That's very boring. It might be good. I don't know. It says something about an eagle. Become the hunter. A master of archery. And it says mythical skills. So. It'll be good or bad. It did come with these. So I, I will give it some credit. This doesn't have them very often. But we've got some pictures. Some artwork. I think more games should do stuff like this. If you're not going to include. Um, manuals and stuff. You know, really, like stuff like that. That can't be too bad to print out. So, who made Pathless? Anna Perna. Anna Perna Interactive. You get an A plus for this. I don't know if the game's going to be any good though.
You won't get that buying digitally, guys. But yeah, I don't know how good the game is. I'll be honest, like I said, I'm just buying PS5 games for the sake of buying PS5 games. And finally, Absolov, End of Gods. It looked really cool, I'll be honest. I bought this because it looked really interesting. Steeped in North mythology, award-winning Absolov is a survival horror and sci-fi adventure, unlike anything you have ever experienced. So we're talking like better than a two-day cocaine bender kind of. That is an experience, let me tell you. Jaegers feel like fucking squashies compared to some of the lines I've done. <laughs> Am I right? Okay. But yeah, it looked cool. It's a horror game. So we know I'm not very good with horror, I'll be honest. So yeah, the case looked really cool. It sold me purely on that. I've never heard of it. I've never seen a video on it. I've never seen a picture of it. I've never seen a review of it. So keep your eye out. I don't know which channel that will go on. I'll try and put it on the main one. But if I find it's a game that's a bit underwhelming, it will be going up on the second. So yeah, that is Blackpool Hall Part 2. We only have one more part to go. And I'll be doing that probably in a few days time. Well, I'll upload it in a few days' time. So, yeah, there you guys go. If there's anything here, like we always say, that you think is worth watching me play through, or you would like to see, or if there's anything here that I've said I'm not sure about, mainly this one, but like Resident Evil and this, let me know. Kingdoms of Amala, I'd like to know. And let me know if you've played Dead to Rights, because I have not played Dead to Rights. I have, but a very long time ago, to the point where I basically might as well have not played it, because it was that long ago that I can't remember. But yeah, we're going to end it on there. So, like I said, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Any comments are greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here. Links to all of my socials in the description box down below. It has been your boy, and I'll see you all in the next one.